Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, if you're new here or you're an old time subscriber, I just want to say thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Anthony and welcome to my channel. So I understand it's been quite some time since I've uploaded um, anything to my channel just because, you know, life and stuff like that. But uh, I am still fishing, obviously. Um, I just haven't haven't really uh, been recording much, but uh, I just wanted to do a little bit of introduction here. Uh, went out to the backwaters with uh, a couple of my buddies and we had a absolute blast of a time out there uh, for jumbo perch on the Mississippi River. So if you know anything about that fishery, you know that it's feast or famine. Um, sometimes you can get some really nice fish and sometimes you really don't catch anything big at all. And today was one of those really special days where we just got into um, a giant school of really nice perch. Uh, I didn't catch anything super big. I think 13, 13 inches was probably one of our biggest that we caught for the day, which um, we always let our biggest ones go, at least I do. And I only keep those around that 10 to 12 inch range. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys um, a, couple, a couple of the, or actually basically my main setups, or I guess my main presentations when I go fishing for perch on the backwaters. Um, and it's very simple. Uh, and and I, I use this based upon uh, the mood of the fish. So as I fish, um, I can tell, obviously, if they're hitting really good, I'll use aggressive lures. If they're hitting a little slow, I'll go a bit more finesse. And obviously, uh, tip downs are a must. I always have tip downs when I chase perch unless I know that I'm on a phenomenal jig bite. But anyways, I just want to show you guys quickly uh, what I use. So if you guys are ever wondering um, what to bring, uh, it's very simple. If you have these in your tackle, uh, you can't go wrong, okay? You can always, you know, there's there's so much out there on the market, I know, and I think if you have these lures, um, it's, it covers everything, and you don't need to waste money on everything, right? Um, but obviously, as a fisherman, it's always nice to have a bunch of stuff. So first one will be a Cast Master Spoon. Hopefully, you guys can see that. I know it's probably not going to focus very well. Um, but this is just a gold Castmaster spoon. This is actually the smallest size they make, which I don't know what the weight is. Um, sometimes I'll use it uh, a spoon, a uh, bear spoon. No, no like meat on it if they're really aggressive. But if they aren't, um, I will use it with like three or four spikes on each one hook here on each hook, right? So total like three, four spikes on the on the hooks. Um, and usually that would do the do seal the ticket there. And this is probably my first thing I'll use is a spoon, just because if I uh, downsize any any other way, like the, to a tungsten, then I for sure I know we'll be catching smaller fish. I noticed that this spoon does typically give me a, a, like a, a bigger fish, right? So a bigger bait, bigger fish. And um, when they are really active, okay, when they are really active, I will upsize to a jigging wrap. All right, I hope you guys can see that. Um, I'm just doing this on my iPhone, so obviously the camera quality isn't gonna be amazing, but hopefully this is enough. I think everybody knows this lure now. It's been in the fishing um, you know, world forever. This is one of the oldest lures in the box. Everybody knows. Actually, this is the exact same one that I use in my uh, video here that you guys will see. And you can see there, I caught so many fish. My treble hook broke, so it's a two hook treble now. <laughs> um, I caught so many perch on this that I broke that treble hook. But yes, this is the one I was using. This is the Chrome Blue Original, and everybody knows that's like an like an old right right. That color has been around forever. Um, honestly, when you go for perch, this color works great. Um, the regular silver, black, uh, gold. I mean UV green right tiger whatever all those work um it's just what you have the most confidence in, i think so if you have confidence in the chrome blue use the chrome blue all right so that's when they are super aggressive and i wasn't even tipping it sometimes you can definitely tip that treble hook with like spikes and that will sometimes seal the deal and in my in my in or sorry in today's outing i didn't even tip it um i was just using a pair bear and they were smashing it now I did switch to a tungsten with a plastic at the end. Uh, unfortunately, I'm sorry, but my GoPro uh, died. I just had, ran out of battery and it was too cold and I couldn't get it to 
um, stay on. I even tried doing my uh, battery power pack. It just, it was too cold. So I eventually did switch to a tungsten with this is a liquid willow cat finesse tail. So if you have been following or seeing me post some of my, my you know, last year's videos and stuff, this is the plastic that I've been using. This is my go-to plastic now. Man, I'm sorry. It's not really showing you very well. This is my go-to plastic now for basically all ice, all of my ice fishing. Um, this is a chartreuse tail. This is actually the exact one I was using at the end of my video here. Um, and this is a tungsten shrimp, I think. I don't know. I forgot. It's made by Widowmakers. It's like green on one side with some like stripes and then orange with two black dots on the other side. And it just sits like this, right, right straight up like this. And as you jig it, that tail kind of just, you know, as you see, I'm not even jigging it. And that tail is just wiggling on its own. Like I'm just holding it still and it's just, it's just moving like that. So that action here on this little plastic tail is amazing. I, I recommend anybody and everybody that wants to get into ice fishing, check these baits out. Um, these plastics are awesome. And these tungstens are also really good too. So the tungsten jig is made by Widowmakers and the plastic is made by uh, Liquid Willow Cat. And it is called the finesse tail, I think under the beaver tail category, then you can, there's like a sub category you click and then it'll be like three options. And one of them is the finesse tail. This is the finesse tail, okay? So there's a bunch of colors, check that out. You won't be disappointed. So these are the three, when, when the bite gets very like slow or slows down, or you notice they're not as aggressive anymore, this is what I will switch to, a smaller tungsten with a light plastic, or sometimes I will use spikes. And I do notice I get more bites. However, I don't always get the biggest fish, but it doesn't mean a big fish won't bite it, okay? So I'll use that when it's finesse and slow it down. I'll use a jig and wrap or jig and wrap style lure, right? There's another one made by Clam, Tika Minnow, and then I think Northland makes a bunch, Puppet Minnow, I don't know. Anyways, they are all this type of lure. They basically all do the same thing. You jig it and it dances under the water, right? It does this kind of darting motion and it kind of comes back to the main hole and darts, whatever. And the fish just smash it when they are super aggressive. And then this is kind of like, to me, in the middle, aggressive slash finesse, right? A spoon gives off a lot of flash, but it's not too flashy, too aggressive, but it's still subtle because you put some spikes on there. So it's like, you know, it definitely draws in attention, but sometimes the fish don't want to eat something big. This is kind of like in that in between, at least that's my opinion on it. So those three there, and then I also use tip down. So that's four presentations I always have with me when I go chase jumbo perch on the Mississippi backwaters. And with those four presentations, I think you have everything covered when it comes to chasing perch. Um, obviously on the backwaters, you can run into multiple different species and they all bite that stuff too. I've caught pike, I've caught bass, I've caught crappies, bluegills, pretty much anything. Um, and yeah, so with that, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I thank you guys for coming to watch. Yeah, yeah, the morning started out a little slow. Right there, right there, on the jig pole, good one. Is it? Oh, I got one. Oh, I didn't know I had one. Got one right there. Got him. Ooh, good one. Good one. That's a nice perch. Look at that one. Oh, got him. Ooh, another nice one. Until so we made a slight move, and from there on, it was lights out. I didn't even use my tip downs anymore because it was so crazy. The, the fishing was so hot, and I do apologize. Um, I didn't show the fish off very much to the camera because I know like if you know perch they come in schools they don't sit still they kind of come through an area and as they push through they just keep moving right so I was doing my best to keep my bait in the water right so I'd catch one I'd kind of unhook it as quick as I could and just fire back down and try to catch more fish so I was really hoping I would hammer a giant fish because I would love to add a nice perch to the wall right um, but I haven't quite hit that like 14 inch mark yet. So that's one of my goals. Hopefully I can get that this year, but we'll see. Oh, I've still got a lot of ice season left, but without further ado, thank you for watching. And if you like what I have, uh, what I put out, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. Good luck ice fishing. See ya.
right there. Oh, plane. Yeah, they want like that mental profile. They don't care about. They don't even want to touch the spoon at all. Right on the jigging rat there. That's cool. No Vexlar needed. It's unreal. What do you say? It's unreal, dude. You say this is unreal? We gotta pull some big ones out of here. We got one of us gotta get like a 14 plus today. Oh, right there. Smoked it. Nice one. Smoke the jigging rat. Oh yeah, this is how you know you're on a hot, hot bite. <laughs> when they're smoking the, the jigging rat. That's how you know what's up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. That guy smoked it. Not that big. Oh. Holy smokes. One after another, dude. This is insane. This is insane. No Vex art. Hope my GoPro's like recording all this. You hope so? Well, it was giving me like an error earlier because it was so cold. Oh, right there, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh man, this one's digging. Nice one. These were, look at that, choked it, dude. Can't even see my, my jigging wrap anymore. Just choked it. We're not even bothering with tip downs anymore. One of these got to be like a 15 inch. Dude. There's God. Savagely attacked them. Yeah, the screen is red. Three feet up to the bottom. Where, the where were these fish? This whole time, Jesus. Oh, yeah. This is insane. Oh, dude, I lost that one. Jeez. Dude, what I'm doing is I'm letting my middle just swim way down in the current and then just keep reeling it back in. Oh, my gosh. I'm just getting smoked. Just put a middle on your jig. Yeah, I'm just, dude, I got. Really good tip down jig, hook in the minnow, and just set it in the hole. And just let it go way down. I'm smoking it, Anthony. Dude, jig and wrap. They're smoking the jig and wrap. Plain jig and wrap, dude. That's insane. What color? Chrome. This is what I use for white bass. This ain't even what I use for perch. What I have on mine is a tip down jig. <laughs> this is insane. This is your best day out here so far? Yeah. For numbers. For numbers wise? We need some super mondos now though. That tall one yeah. that's walking to the right. Oh man. I mean, one after another. I mean, these are all good quality perch. That's insane. My GoPro battery is probably gonna die. I'm gonna run out of a, uh, uh, what is it, memory here, but I don't care. You're still hooking right in the head now? Yeah. <sighs> Dude, you're gonna go live? This is insane. Use the tip down uh thing to put to to perch your phone on there. This is insane. Come on. Where's that 15 plus incher that I want? Yeah. Oh, dude, that guy hammered it. These perch fight good. These perch, oh, look at this. Look at the next fish. Golden, just golden. Beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna let this one go. Just hammering so many nice perch now. This is just silly. This is silly.
Oh, hammer. Oh, right there, double. Doubled up. Right there. Oh, dude, this guy choked it down just like the other one. Like, it's gone. What are they saying? I don't know, people are mad because we don't invite them places. Oh, that's all right. I snuck in. They didn't even know I was in the truck. And then they put, they showed up and I jumped out of the back seat and said, what's up guys? I'm going with you. So we were using tip down and we just couldn't keep them in the water. They couldn't keep one tip down in the water. It was ridiculous to the point where like... Man, I'm getting smoked. There, dude. He slapped. Oh, he came off. Came off. Came right off. Oh, dude. Dude. This man? No, I think I still got it. My bail opened up. What the heck? What's going on here? What is this? What do I got? I don't think this is a fish. <laughs> Beaver? Oh, no, this is a fish. Dude, I snagged it. What the heck? And I got weeds with this fish. Oh, my God. That's how you know you're you're on a giant school of perches when you snag them and you pull up a weed with it. That's a nice perch too. Back down. I just pulled up like the whole oh, their house. <laughs> I'm gonna move. It's probably muddy down there. They can't see nothing anymore. Fighter. Nice perch. Just a nice one, dude. Look at this thing. Beautiful. Dude, this is insane. One after another. I mean, I caught like 30 fish by now. Nothing. Nice one too. Nice one right there. Let this one go. Nice fish. Perfect eating size. Huh? Oh, smoked it. Holy cow, they are T-boning this like crazy, like, oh my lord. I'm gonna drill. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, you put the, you put your phone right on the auger. I was gonna drill a hole. Huh? That's all right. I'm just gonna fish this hole gonna drill like a few more holes going out past us a little bit and now heading out oh, it was a special day guys I'm glad to experience it with you man yeah, enjoy it you don't get to see this kind of bite like no. often if I ever me, I like grandpa passed on Sunday oh man oh my gosh sorry for your loss man do it for him. Yep, you guys have a good one. Cheers, man. Take care. I bet you it was just that bike would go. I bet if you put middles down there right now on the tip down. Ooh. Yeah, we'll still get old oh, dude. Look at this one. 
god. Dang. He smoked it hard. He smoked that tail hard. No, I switched to the plastic tail. I switched to uh, uh, like a little cat finesse tail.